One ringy dingy. <laughs> Two ringy dingies. A oh, gracious hello. Is this the party to whom I am speaking? <laughs> Miss, Mr. Mr. James R. Hoffa? The former 1863321? What, what do you mean, how did I know that? Listen, Ma Bell's had your number for a long time. <laughs> now, now listen. Mr. Hoffa, our records show that you made a couple of long-distance calls from the penitentiary. And now that you've paid your debt to society, maybe you'll pay your debt to the phone company. <laughs> what, what, what's, what's that? Well, it had to be you. Well, who else would be making calls from the big house to the White House? <laughs> well, look, Jim, you just got out from being up the river. If you fool around with Ma Bell, you're gonna be up the creek. <laughs> Hello? Hello? A gracious good afternoon. This is Miss Tomlin of the telephone company. Do I have the party to whom I am speaking? <laughs> and may, may, may I have your name, sir? Mm hmm. And, and, and what does the M stand for? And how, how do you spell Mill House? <laughs> I, I'm, I, could, could, could you spell that again, sir? S sir, I'm sorry. You are not making yourself perfectly clear. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Mr. Mill House, sir, we were just idly thumbing through our files, and we noted that your be telephone bill is now in the amount of $24,000.32. Well, we felt that was rather an excessive amount to allow on the basis of a $10 deposit. <laughs> but, oh, sir, sir, that may very well be. That, sir, that may well be. But according to our files, you have been living at your present address only one year. But yet we like to keep closer tabs on our transient customers. <laughs> Hello? 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 <laughs> hey here, Cassius Clay. Cassius Clay, uh-huh. One ringy dingy. Two ringy dingies. A gracious good afternoon. Is this the party to whom I am speaking? Well, a gracious good afternoon, Mr. Clay. It took you so long to answer the bell, I was sure you'd thrown in the towel. <laughs> a little mob bell knockout there. Now then, Mr. Clay. What, what's that? You're, you're not Cassius Clay? Well, oh, you were Cassius Clay. Well, well, there does seem to be some confusion about your name. Uh, we, we have an unpaid bill now here under two listings, Cassius Clay and Muhammad Ali. Oh, I see. The correct one is Ali. All right, I've got that. Uh-huh. Mr. Cassius Ali. Oh, no, not Cassius. Muhammad. Well, very well, then. Mr. Ali Muhammad. Well, that's wrong, too. Well, look here now. Will you stop all this fighting? What's that? If you stop fighting, the bill will never get paid. That's one for you. I, I guess when you're number two, you try harder. I think I have your name right now. Let's see, it's Muhammad Ali. Is that right? Good. Now then, Mr. Muhammad Ali, what should I do about this unpaid bill? I, I pardon me? I, I should what? S send it to Cassius Clay? Oh, now, Frank Sinatra. Sinatra. Oh, I've torn some Ma Bell property. Let's see. S, S. Oh, here it is. And the yellow page is under swingers. <laughs> One ring a ding ding. Two ring a ding ding. A oh, gracious good afternoon. Is this the Sinatra residence? Are, are you his maid? Oh, oh, you're his girl Friday. Well, what about Saturday and Sunday? A little phone company humor for swinging lovers, sweetie. So why don't you put Frankie Boy on? A oh, gracious good afternoon. Is this Mr. Frank Sinatra? 
Oh, Mr. Sinatra, this is Miss Tomlin of the telephone company. And, oh, why, thank you. Why, thank you so much for asking, but I don't have a bird. <laughs> Sinatra about an unpaid bill, and I was wondering what you're going to dooby 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 do about it. <laughs> oh, well, I'd love to do it your way, but it's against phone company regulations. <laughs> Very interesting. A gracious good afternoon. Is this the party to whom, whom I am speaking, Mr. William F. Buckley? Oh, I'm sorry. There is a dot between the F and the B. Well, Mr. Buckley, this is Miss Tomlin of the telephone company. You owe us money, Mr. Buckley. $15.11, to be precise. Oh, Mr. Buckley, in glancing through my files, I, I noticed that you have one of our unlisted telephone numbers. P probably because you desire privacy, am I right? <laughs> Mr. Buckley, if, if you do not remit $15.11, let me tell you what the phone company has in mind for you. <laughs> we are going to send out into society a very creepy little person armed with your secret phone number, a grease pencil, and some short, snappy, obscene phrases. In no time at all, your secret number will be appearing in some mighty peculiar establishments. You're, you're not going to get a minute's rest. <laughs> hello? 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 Hello, Mr. Buckley? Mr. Uh, Buckley? Oh, I'm sorry, Buckley. This, this is your very own Miss Tomlin again. <laughs> Mr. Buckley, let me advise you that you are not dealing with just anyone. The phone company is a prestigious organization. <laughs> prestigious. That's tedious with the pressed in front of it. <laughs> Mr. Buckley, we are in a sisterhood with the other utilities. We can arrange to leave you powerless. Yes, we can. We can cut off your gas, your electricity, and we can cut off your water. <laughs> Mr. Buckley, Mr. Buckley, nobody wants to have his water cut off. <laughs> now then, when may we expect payment? Very well, sir. We, we will await your check. Oh, and Mr. Buckley, Mr. Buckley, there's no reason on earth for you to feel personally persecuted. We may be the only phone company in town, but we sock it to everybody. <laughs> a, a gracious good afternoon. Is this the Chinese People's Telephone Company? Good. This is Miss Tomlin calling from the U.S. of A. I was just talking to Mr. Joe in Lai, and we were cut off. Now, just what kind of Mickey Mouse operation are you running over there? What, what's that? W would, would you repeat that, please? You, you say you service a population of over 750 million people? Well, look, look, don't, don't be surprised if Ma Bell shows up before the president gets there. We wouldn't pass up a market like that for all the AT and T in China. <laughs> One ringy ding. A oh, gracious good afternoon. Is this the party who has answered my call? The Central Intelligence Agency? Good. This is Miss Tomlin of the phone company. Well, of course I know your phone was off the hook. Isn't it amazing the way we can still make it ring? <laughs> now, I know that... Of course I do. I know that this is a private, unlisted number that's changed twice a day for security purposes. It's the same technique we use for our repair service. <laughs> now let me talk to the director. Oh, don't you lie to me. I know he's not engaged in any conference call with the White House. We have that line monitored also. <laughs> oh, very well. I will leave a message. Tell him that phone security has never been better and that all the gang down here at Ma Bell want to wish him luck on his upcoming invasion of mainland China. <laughs> Hello. Hello. One ringy dingy. Two ringy dingies. 
and a joyous good day to you, sir. Is this Julio's catering service? Good. This is Miss Tomlin of the telephone company. I would like to order a few supplies for our annual Christmas bash. Uh-huh. Let's see now. We'd like 14 cases of scotch, six cases of whiskey, 25 magnums of champagne, and a can of beer. We'd also like 15 party hats, a bunch of balloons, and a water bed. What's that? Oh, oh no, no, no. It's, it's not going to be a rowdy bunch. No, no, j just Venetia and I. Uh-huh. Could, could we have all this stuff sent over on Friday night? Oh, you, you, you say it'll take every male employee you can lay your hands on? Well, that'll be just fine. I'll see you later. Venetia, Ernestine, listen, Venetia, it looks like a great Christmas. <laughs> One ringy dingy. Two ringy dingies. A gracious good afternoon. Have I reached the party to whom I am speaking? This is Miss Tomlin of the telephone company. Have I have I reached a Mr. Aristotle Onassis? Miss Good, Mr. Nassis? I was wondering personally, what, what does the O stand for? Oh, oh my goodness. You Irishmen certainly do have a way with words. <laughs> now then, Mr. Nassis, I'm calling in regard to an order we received from your wife. She wants a solid gold princess phone. I, I think I should warn you, this instrument could cost $5,000. This strikes me, Mr. Nassis, as being, well, a rather callous disregard for money. I, I said callous disregard for money. Callous. Callous. Ca hello? Hello? Half a ringy dingy. Oh, I just love those. Another ringy dingy. A gracious hello. Is this the electric company? Good. This is Miss Tomlin of the telephone company. Now, this may come as a shock to you, but your bill is way past due. And unless you, as we say in the trade, fork up, we're going to have to discontinue your service. Now, what do you have to say to that? 